next demo, we are checking out a high gain fuzz pedal that covers an incredible range of tones. Introducing Alter by Lichtleim Audio. It's got nine really interactive controls. You've got a three band EQ across the top. The boost side here, so these two knobs are only active when this clean boost foot switch is operated, uh, but you also have gain and level there. These three across the bottom are where a lot of the magic happens. Now the grind knob, which is bottom left, allows you to blend a fully cranked HM2 style EQ curve. So that's where you're gonna get your death metal chainsaw tones. Depth here in the middle is a pre-gain EQ. So basically think counterclockwise would be more distortion-y and clockwise would be more sort of big muff fuzzy. And then comp over here allows you to blend between um, LED counterclockwise to germanium clipping options. So this can be crushingly heavy, but also has a softer side. I'll dive into the controls as we go. So let's check out some riffs. So if we start with everything in the middle, you can hear how much gain's going on. And then with the gain at three o'clock, that was the intro tone, right? Next up we're going to have a look at Gardenia by Caius and although I've cranked the gain I've actually cut the high all the way back and I've used the comp knob which is one of the small controls on the bottom right hand side so anti-clockwise you've got LED clipping which is going to be pretty gnarly loud and distorted but if you turn it all the way around to the right you get germanium clipping which is going to be much smoother more overdriven and there's less gain available right so um, you've really got a huge range I've gone for it right in the middle so we have this. And then if we go into neck position, I think we're pretty close. some silver chair we're going to look at um, spawn again and I've tweaked the EQ a little bit scooped the mids the highs are up a little bit but I've turned the depth knob fully clockwise right and that's a, a pre-gain EQ so it's basically going to add some lows so a bit more fuzzy big muffy sort of stuff going on it goes a bit like this <laughs> settings on the pedal and we're going to look at um, Fu Manchu, King of the Road, again quite a sort of muff-like tone goes a bit like this <laughs> the white stripes we're going to look at aluminium that's got a really interesting guitar tone i think and i want to show you the comp knob in a little bit more detail so with it at about sort of two o'clock <laughs> you've got that going on right but if i move it back only a bit just about 11 o'clock <laughs> closer right and then if I turn it all the way anti-clockwise <laughs> next up with these settings we're going to look at hum stars and I'm going to use the boost as well now the boost on its own does tremendous things I'm going to show you a bit more of that now but I just want to show you it 
boosting the uh, main tone. So the tone would be. And that's already suitably gnarly, isn't it? But with the boost. so compact you can press both buttons at the same time if you want so you could have depth and the comp fully clockwise we've got um, much milder overdrive sort of tones but fuzzy overdrive tones and black keys is a great example I got mine we're gonna look at next I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you three different tones that we can get from the combinations of the foot switches right so again my clean tone <laughs> my clean tone then with the boost then with the boost off and just the right side of the pedal on boost on as well so that's a crazy range of tone right because it's a pedal that really is super high gain but there are some really tasty, light, fuzz, sort of distorted tones in it as well. Now, similar theme, we're going to use the boost as our sort of clean boost channel. And then we're going to add the other side of it to give us a big, fat fuzz tone. And we're going to use um, Weezer Say It Ain't So. It's a lovely tune. So my clean tone, and I'm on uh, neck pickup here as well, would be... with the boost on, check this out. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Really, really twangy. And then for the heavier part of the tune, just bang on the right hand side of the pedal and we have this. more knob to explore the one bottom left called grind and that is basically blending a fully cranked hm2 eq into the boost right so it's that chainsaw tone right the swedish metal thing you can hear like if i just put the boost on <laughs> it's really adding that signature hm2 style vibe but the other side of the pedal i've got set like this almost sounds quite tame doesn't it until you put the boost on as well then we have this which i think is really close enjoyed the demo it really has got a wild amount of extremes in this pedal and i've had loads of fun exploring how interactive all the controls are so i'm going to play you out with melvin's honey bucket see you soon